Hey guys, so today we're finally reviewing the MAC Studio Radiance Serum Powered Foundation. I know you guys have been requesting this and we're gonna try it today. Do you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I get super iffy when it comes to serum foundations. Even when I used to work on Bobbi Brown UK, they had a serum foundation and it never sat well on my skin. I think like it's because I had dry skin and you just have to, I feel like when it comes to serum based products, you have to be careful what primers you use. It's like a trial and error process. I've already got my moisturizer SPF primer. Primer. primer today i'm using the fenty beauty pro filter primer which is the hydrating one by the way can you guys believe i got the shade nc42 if you look at all of my mac foundation reviews on my channel i've always used like nc44 nc43 i went in store i switched I used foundation.com and it all said NC40 or NC42. NC40 was a bit, you know, like cooler for me, but NC42 sat really well. So yeah, that's my shade. NC42 in MAC if that helps anyone. So this is kind of like a skincare in makeup product, obviously with the serum. It says it gives more hydrated skin, 24 hour hydration, 80% skincare base. It's got hyaluronic acid, medium buildable coverage, radiant glow finish, 12 hour wear, transfer resistant, non-creasing, non-caking, does not clog balls i think i got this for like did i get it for 39 foundation prices have gone up but yeah let's let's waste no more time it's on the face okay and this all out how did i get away with wearing nc44 i will i don't know because this is like already on the warmer side i honestly don't know how i got away with it but do you know what this is sitting really nicely but you can tell like it's it's already oxidized i feel like i could have gotten away with nc40 but maybe i should just trust foundation.com because foundation.com told me nc40 based on the foundation shades i already wear in like other brands but i was stubborn and i went in store and i swatched them too and i was looking at them I'm like okay do you know what i'm gonna go for nc42 and you can see like it's a bit on the warmer side but do you know what like it's not like scary or anything but yeah this is what it's looking like i mean it looks like skin and i'm not mad at the finish it like evened out my skin covered any like scarring i have and it's not doing anything weird, which is what we want. I'm just going to blend the other side. It blends really nicely. I don't like to put too much foundation on my forehead. Can you see that little glow? What do you think? It's not bad, you know. I'm not going to say like I'm amazed don't know if i'm going through a phase you know like it's doing everything that it says it does it doesn't feel sticky it's already set my skin doesn't look dry or flaky or anything it doesn't look cakey just bear in mind that it does oxidize it definitely oxidized but it's not like scary it's not like orangey or anything do you know what it's like i wouldn't say it's my favorite that's the thing i wouldn't say it's my favorite it's just a bit mm, you know a bit mm. okay let me <laughs> I was like this in my other video and I'm just like it needs to wow me it needs to wow me but anyways let's let me finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back okay makeup is now done I did the same look as I did in my previous video so if you guys want to know how I got this you can check out my last video because I actually filmed this for Instagram because so many of you guys asked on Instagram like to show tutorial on this so I just did a dedicated eye tutorial but yeah Back to the foundation, everything blended really nicely on it. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit on the warmer side. I mean, it's a good match, but it's just too orange still. That's the thing I found with MAC foundations is that they tend to be more on the orangey side in general. And I'm more like a neutral olive tone. Like it's really hard for me to get a good match with MAC. It is my shade, you know, I feel like it's the best possible match I can get. And in terms of foundation itself, like it feels nice and everything, but it, it hasn't like, it doesn't look how I would like it to look, you know, like with my other foundations, I don't know how to explain it. I just can see a little bit of texture, like more texture than I can compared to my other foundations and I don't know if I'm warming up to it. I don't know if it's the serum, I don't know what it is, but yeah. I know it looks good on camera, but you know when you're just, you know when you just like how, a, how your foundation to look? And trust me, with all the foundations I've tried, I know what I like. 
and this is not like there for me unfortunately like so far if I'm being completely honest I can say yeah this looks great and you know like and it is good but I'm just saying it's not wowing me it's not, it's not doing what my other fave foundations do I'm just seeing more texture that's that's the thing I don't know you guys tell me you guys tell me if this looks good but will I go out with it yes did it apply really nicely yes no smile line so far. The shade match is as best as it could be. Like so far I'm rating this like a 6, 7 out of 10. But you know what? We're going to put it to the test. So it's currently 1.15. Oh my god, time has flown by. It does look good, but do you know what? Like, do you know what I mean when the texture? I don't know. So yeah, I'm going to keep this on until later today and we'll just see what this looks like. Hi guys. Do you know what? This foundation really surprised me because I've had it for like, what, seven or eight hours now. It hasn't budged. <sighs> okay, overall it looks okay, but if you look close, you can see like some separation. And I swear, like, every serum foundation does this. I just feel like serum foundations don't sit well on my face. Not only do I wear more skin tints these days, and less foundation and if I'm gonna pick a foundation it's probably gonna be like some of my favorite ones that I know looks good and like unfortunately this one wouldn't be one of them and guys I'm not gonna love everything not everything's gonna work on me but it's just not working for me or vice versa like I may love something and it's not gonna work for other people so can I say I had high hopes I don't think so because do you know what I was a bit iffy and this is why I took so long in getting the foundation because I was like serum serum I don't know if you can see like the separation on my chin. I'm just a bit like I don't know what to say because it looks decent, but it's just not it's just not you know there for me. So you guys get it. I mean it didn't give me smile lines. It doesn't transfer, which is good. I just it's, it's just not sitting good on my skin. Yeah, I'm, I probably rate this like a four, five, ten now because I don't know like it's just like done weird things here. I look like I'm wearing foundation, and I don't like that anyways that's just what i think about the foundation i hope you found this review helpful if you have been loving this foundation let me know if you have been i would say though if you're worried about this being too dewy or shiny it's not like it sets so if you have combination oily skin i feel like it could work for you as well without setting with powder that's all i have to say guys i'm gonna head out i'm gonna wash my face now if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and join the family and i will see you in my next video